Good evening everybody, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be doing a little helpful tutorial video on how you guys can set up your Streamlabs and OBS Studios and how to import Streamlabs overlays over to your OBS Studio. So the first thing you're going to want to do obviously is open your Streamlabs OBS. Wait for that to load. Make sure you always have a Streamlabs account and all that stuff well and good to go all that good stuff so obviously mine's set up to be chroma which is my newest one that I'm gonna be starting with in my next stream or next video as you may know I'll be able to see uh, whoops I got this recent thing on my screen it shouldn't be there we'll hide that there we go so obviously you want to pick the one you want so you're gonna to want to go over to the very bottom where it says dashboard you're going to click that it'll pull up your streamlabs dashboard and then you're from there you're going to want to go to themes and overlays this works much better if you have amazon prime because you get access to better overlays other than the standard ones that they give you on there already which are pretty much basic ones or a little bit lower quality ones or as they call static ones but you basically go through here pick which one suits you suits your personality and suits your your gaming needs for the most part or the, it pretty much what fits your personality the best so obviously you know I pick out ones that basically I think are gonna be catchy catch on streams and stuff like that so like there's one there's a lot of them that move a lot of them that are pretty much static stuff like that a bunch of different ones that you want to deal with you could fiddle faddle with this pretty much all day long based off of what you like seeing so there's so many different ones you can just scroll through here at your leisure and pretty much just pick and choose which one you want And they're all, they're all free through, you know, Streamlabs, if you have Amazon Prime, they're pretty much all free to download. You just pick one and you just go with it. They're, they're all in there by categories. You go by first person shooter, action, massively multi, massively multiplayer online, role playing games, adventure, simulation, real time strategy, sports, dance, rhythm, generic variety, in real life. And you want to go to just added or most popular. So some of them are just added, there's popular ones. You can go off of either one, it doesn't matter. You know, this one says Bubbles, this one says Warped, which looks pretty freaking cool. You know, there's this Fusion one. There's so many different ones that you can choose from. There's RGB, which is kind of similar to the Chroma one that I just showed you guys. There's podcast ones, if you're just simply a podcast channel. There's awareness ones for different parts of awareness ones. There's so many different ones if you have a religious background there's one that's obvious that says heaven here you know there's so many different preferences that you guys can choose from so let's see if we can find one here that we can use for sake of video so uh let's see that one looks pretty cool so we're gonna see what we can find with right that we can work with here So many different ones to choose from. Obviously, it's kind of hard to choose when you got all these different ones. It's actually rather cool when you can kind of like just search through all of these. Yeah, so this one's kind of like the one we have, so it's Chroma Flow instead of Chroma. Obviously, we don't want to do something too similar to the one I have because it would be just a little bit weird. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say, okay, weird is the wrong thing, but you want something, obviously, that's different. So some of them look a little bit similar than most, some are a lot different, some of them are, well, unique. <laughs> that's the best way to go about it. So like I could just scroll through this practically 
Uh, let's go with... I don't know. Let's go with Nebulas and Galaxy. So you're gonna open the Streamlabs, Streamlabs OBS, which is gonna bring you right back to your page right there. And you're gonna click Install Theme. And while that's installing, it's gonna add a fresh scene collection to your editor. And you pretty much are free to edit from there. So this one practically has your social media handles at the bottom. So what you're gonna wanna do is click on the social media ones you want to thin the herd. So you pretty much want to make them a little bit bigger. It's kind of a pain in the butt to do. There you go. Stretch them out. But you're also going to want to hit this little arrow which drops them down. So whichever one's YouTube, so you want to span them out. Twitter is going to be at the very end. So they're kind of spanned out. So you go to YouTube. select the font if it's using the Google font you leave that checked if you're using your own custom one you want to scroll down so for me uh, I've been using this Batman forever one so you put your username which in my case is Revelation Studios Gaming I spelled that totally wrong and then you'll hit done and then you'll move on to Instagram, which I don't use, so I'll just take that one out. If you want to keep it in there, by all means, hit remove. And you'll click on Twitter. Double click it. I use the same font, so I uncheck it. If you're using Google font, you leave it checked. If you have custom fonts, you'll uncheck it and pick the one that which that are custom. And again, Revelation Studios Gaming. Make sure everything is spelt properly. You hit done. You close that. Now you go to the starting menu. And it pretty much has your handles. But you want to go back to the social media channels because the logo is kind of goofy. So how you fix that? It's easy. Actually, it's not easy. So, if you want your social media things there, you can. It's not required. It's not, you know, something. If you want that there to help better promote your channel, some are a little bit less. For, oh, there you go. You can just move it. The only problem being is, is that it kind of looks goofy because you can't really move the lettering. So what I'm going to wind up doing is I'm not even going to use the social medias on this one. But that's pretty much how you import them. You'll edit the social media tab down here. Edit it to your username and it should usually it lines up. Some of them are kind of goofy to where it won't line up. So I'm just going to remove mine. I'm not going to rename. I want to remove. And it's pretty much got all that. You don't need the social media channels there, you just hit remove and they disappear. Well, you don't want to hide that. You want that there. Now, for some reason, those social media handles are still there. Some of them will stay there. You can't really do anything about them, they're there. So, this is obviously just for the sake of the stream or the video. I'm not going to keep this one by any means. So, obviously, you got that set up. So, you want to start branding it, right? You want to put your special emblem or logo in there. You're going to hit this plus sign. You go to images, add source. You're going to check this thing at the bottom, add new resource instead. I did that wrong. Remove that. Strike that. Reverse it. <laughs> I'm gonna go to image. 
add resource, new one, rename it to what your logo is called. I do RS by default for me. Hit add source, browse, click the one you want, hit open, and then you're just gonna drag it, shrink it if you want, and put it where you want it. Click on the side and it's there. If you want that on all your screens, such as your Be Right Back screen, your ending screen, you're gonna click go on your resources, hover over the, thing, the image, right click, copy, go to intermission screen, which I'm not gonna use. Most of the time, unless you use a webcam, you're not gonna need the intermission, so I just remove it. Go to pause. Be right back. Pause. You go into your resources area here. Right click, paste reference, and it pastes it right in the same spot as it was at the, the start of the, of the starting one. So you go right back up to starting. It's in the same one. Then you'll go to ending. Go right back into your resources again. Right click, paste reference. There you go. Right there. Same spot. Easy as one, two, three, right? So obviously you want to make sure that, <coughs> excuse me, that these are pretty much lined up properly. You, know, you got your starting screen here, live scene, and then your pause and then your ending. Now this part comes a little bit easier. If you're not using a webcam, you don't need any of this webcam stuff. Just simply remove it. If you want it there, you pretty much adjust it how you want and set it up the way you want. Remove. 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 And then remove that last one. Some people like to keep their top overlays up there. You, by all means, do so. If not, you can do the same thing. Just remove it. If it allows you to. Some of them don't allow you to. But always make sure your alert box is at the very top resource. Adding stream music. Always make sure that it's not copyrighted. Don't use Slipknot. Don't use anything that's copyrighted by an artist. Find some non-copyrighted music on YouTube. Or you can use Google to search websites that have it. Just make sure that when you put your description, you put... The name of the artist in there to give them credits and you're good to go with that so how you do that is you go into your folder in which your all your stream music will be and then you simply just right click copy go into your starting screen go into your resources area paste reference Put the stream music at the bottom. Then you go to your pause screen, into the resources box, right click, paste reference. Saves you a whole lot of work of repeating things. Go to the end screen, resources, right click, paste reference, drag it to the bottom. And also, if you're using the live scene, you gotta have a capture. Now there's two choices, you can do game capture or display capture. I all highly recommend display capture, it uses less resources and gives you a smoother stream. Game capture can be a bit glitchy. Hit click display capture in the plus sign, add resource, add resource, done. You want your display capture or game capture always at the very bottom. And as you can see when you change from game to display it looks like you get this little choppiness here where it cuts the screen in half. I don't know why I'm not in full screen. That's weird. Anyway, it's simple fix. You'll right click on the display capture that you just put in, transform, stretch the screen, and it'll readjust it for you to where you get the entire box, and not just half of it. Now comes the tricky, now comes the tricky part is if you're using OBS Studio is importing it to OBS Studio obviously when you're using Streamlabs you also want to make sure that your audio is all set to go 
So by doing that, you'll click this cog gear at the right. Desktop audio, device. My default is my Razer Nari headset. And then your mic should always be set to monitor and output. Stream music should always be set. You always want that set to monitor off, especially if you're streaming because it's going to echo. You'll have it on your stream lab and it's going to echo through your stream. It may or may not, but if you have it set to monitor output, it'll do exactly what it just did for me, which is like bark at me. <laughs> or monitor. Yeah, can't do monitor and mute. Don't do these two. Just have it set to monitor off. It should only be playing when your stream is playing. Obviously it's working, because the way you'll know if your sounds are working, it's pretty easy. You'll see these green, yellow, and red bars moving. So the stream music's working. These won't work obviously right now because, well, you have to close it and reopen it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this. Reopen it. And those bars should be there. Well, they're not working probably because you have to go into properties, which is the little cogs here. Or go back to the cog gear again and try again. It sometimes acts like an ass. Monitor output. Yeah. Always make sure your audio is working, especially with like OBS Studio, if you're doing that. Anytime you change an overlay, you have to redo some things. But make sure your live scenes are set the way you want them. So now, going to the tricky part, which is importing it to OBS Studio. You're going to simply... Go right here to the bottom, well the middle left side where it says Nebula Galaxy. I'm gonna drop that arrow, manage all. You scroll all the way to the top. Don't click this. You're gonna rename this. I remain my, I always rename mine OBS import. So I know exactly what it is. Oh, it'd be nice if I put a P in there. And then hit done. And then you're done with Streamlabs. You don't need it anymore. You're going to go bring your OBS Studio up if you're a user of it. And then you're simply going to open up your vanilla folder. You're going to go to the C drive. Users. Owner. And app data. Roaming. You want slobs client. You don't want to touch your OBS Studio or the Node server. Don't go anywhere near those. You want slobs client. Double click that. Scene collections. You're going to look for the most recent date and time. That's the one you want. Because now when you go to scene collections, at the top of the screen, import. So we want 118 at about 637 p.m. That's the date we're looking for. So we're looking for 118 close to about 637 or 635 around. That's the 5 o'clock one. So we did a couple. Um, there should be one entered in here at some point. Uh... See if we can find it. 118, 5.50 p.m. You might actually have to close the folder and reopen it again. Oh, there it is. So you want these two. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. You want these two, drag and drop them. There's Nebula right there. You're going to hit import. And that goes away. Then you'll go back up to scene collections. 
And then you'll look for the one you entered. So it was Nebula, right? Clear as day. It'll pop up in there, right there. Nebula Galaxy. And that's pretty much it guys, that's how you basically set up your overlays from the from the studio. That is how you import them from Streamlabs or OBS. You can transfer them from Streamlabs or OBS. That's pretty much how you guys do it. I hope this was helpful for a lot of you guys who are struggling to kind of get their, their stream set up and getting their overlays all nice and organized and everything like that. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe if you want to get the channel. It's great. For upcoming streams and videos, and the notifications. I really hope it's helpful to you guys, and I hope you guys have a good night, morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you guys are. You guys have a great day. Take it easy, guys.